Happy New Year! It is me, the Vegan Kitty. Welcome back, my kitty cats. Today will be my first shopping haul and review of 2022 from Aldi's and Amazon Fresh. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. I have a lot of stuff here. Okay. Alright, let me pull it up on my phone so I can tell you guys how much each item cost and it's always hard to do with my gloves okay first off first up I have Benton's graham crackers by the way all of these uh, items here on the table are from Aldi's Aldi's okay these are Benton graham crackers they are 135 and the plan, what I plan on doing with these, um, I could either, well, I'm going to make s'mores out of them, but you could use it as a graham cracker crust or just to have with a um, hot cup of cocoa. Next up, baking cocoa. And what I usually do with this, I use it to make hot cocoa. I make it from scratch. Hot cocoa is really good. Or I could use the, or either I use this in my red velvet cake. So it has multi multiple uses. You can use it just about anything. You can also have it uh, use this to make a chocolate cake. So you can use this for a lot of stuff. I like to keep stuff like this on deck. So if I have a, a taste for anything, I can make it. I'll just make it from scratch, and I'm used to doing that. Okay. Next up, garbanzo beans. Okay, with garbanzo beans, you could do a lot with these. Um, I normally use it to make tuna. That go over to my channel and look how I made vegan tuna using garbanzo beans. And you can also use it as a snack also. And I'll be doing that as well. I'll show you. It has a lot of uses for it. And I'll show you what to do with it. Uh, next up, I have uh, Berry Hill uh, Grape Jelly. Grape jelly and no special use. I have that with some PB and J. <laughs> Every now and then I like a good peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mm. Jelly is one seventy five at all Aldi's, and the peanut butter that's one thirty nine at Aldi's. Okay, this is taking up too much time telling the price. I'm not going to do it. You see it's slowing me down. Okay, so next up, I have some corn tortilla shells. Okay, and so with these, they have multiple uses. Um, I like to make tacos with them. Um, enchiladas. They could be, I like to cut them up and make tortillas, make my own tortillas. So, uh, yeah, you could do it. And, and uh, taquitos as well. So, that's why we have a large thing of it. Because we do a lot with tortilla shells. See that? Um, not sure. Oh, it's 72 in here. There's 72 shells in here. Um, I have... large thing of oatmeal. I have two of them. I have two things of oatmeal. And we like to have oatmeal in the morning. Some mornings. You can also make oatmeal cookies out of them. Granola bars. Um, that'll be coming up. We'll show you what all you could do with oatmeal as well. Um, let's see. What else? I have over here. This is mixed fruit. It's uh, frozen. You can find the frozen food section. It's called mixed fruit. And we like to make smoothies as well. Sometimes we have strawberry banana blend. So I showed you the mixed fruit already. The strawberry banana blend. And I have a cherry berry blend also. This is a, these are uh, 48 ounce bags, okay? And they're by Seasons Choice. 
Okay. There's another one of my favorite snacks. It's by Clancy's. It's uh, the veggie straws. I like to use these as a snack. Um, and so I have Herdez Salsa Verde and that goes with the uh, tacos or enchiladas or tortilla chips you name it whatever on tamales as well I also have baby spinach Which you know is not going to cook down into much, but I like to. Um, but I love um, garlic spinach. I love making garlic spinach uh, with or without. Sometimes I'll saute a little tofu and throw it in there, or I'll just have it just with garlic and spinach. Uh, also, you can go over to my channel. Um, I made garlic um, spinach before with tofu in it. So that's on the channel at the Vegan Kitty's Kitchen. Okay. Next up. I have a spring mix. This is uh, for a salad. It's a bit con a large container. I got this one. All these also is by Simply Nature. Uh, this is a 16 ounce thing of salad. So in my salad, I like to add. Um, this is a long English cucumber. So I have two of those. I like to make salads. So I like to make a large thing of salad. That's what we normally eat. Um, we got my avocados that could be used for to go in the salad on tacos. Um, we make a, a guacamole of it. So I have two, about four, but I put two on the table. Um, I have a couple packs of broccoli. So of course this could be used as a side dish or it could be a main dish. You can use it to make beef and broccoli, uh, chicken broccoli, um, what else? You can throw a tofu and broccoli, whatever. So it could be used as multiple uses also depending on what you want to use it for. This is a 10 ounce, this is a 10 ounce bag by Simply Nature. bag of string beans by Season Choice. Uh, what are these? Extra fine green beans. <laughs> and I really need to read that to you. It's a green beans. And I like to put these on the side as well. I love green beans. I love broccoli. These are like my two favorite um, vegetables. Um, over here I have Great Northern beans, Great Northern beans, and what I do with these, um, you can either make a bean pie using these, or um, I like to make a white bean soup. And I won't go into detail because I want to make it the throw on, that, on my channel. I'll show you guys how I make it. Okay. I have a bag of black beans. And then, of course, with these, again, you can go on tacos, enchiladas, um, taquitos, uh, tamales, or just some, uh, <laughs> or you could just make black beans out of it, black beans and some rice. You can make Cajun black beans. You can go crazy with black beans. You can do any and everything with black beans. Um, this stuff, I have a large, how many ounces of this? A 64 ounce bag of uh, pinto beans. And I like burritos with pinto beans. I like a good bean burrito with those. Uh, tortadas, tacos, you name it. Or just um, beans and rice. So it's a lot you can do with beans. Uh, I have a large bag of rice here. You guys know what rice look like. <laughs> um, with that, I, I like to do a vegetable stir fry. Um, you can do a chicken stir fry, uh, beef stir fry, you just use your imagination. There's so much you can do with rice or just plain steamed rice with a little bit of butter and some seasoning, however you want to do it. Um, what I 
have the relish that goes into the tuna. I forgot to guys show you guys earlier. So again, go over to my, my, my channel, The Vegan Katie's Kitchen. And there I post a video of how to make a vegan tuna. What else have I made over there? Uh, the um, garlic spinach with tofu in it, okay? And then over here, I have brown sugar, which I keep, I keep handy. I always have brown sugar. Um, let me see, I bring all of these over here. I have brown, you always have brown sugar because I do a lot of baking. Um, I mean, yeah, maybe that's why I use it for. I always have brown sugar just to bake with. Like, uh, I posted a dump cake. And then brown sugar goes in there as well. So I did use brown sugar with the pineapples and the cherry as a glaze. This makes a glaze for the dump cake. It makes a glaze on top of the cherries and the uh, pineapples. Okay, here I have confection and sugar. I have that. And what I usually do with this, you can make um, snowball cookies. Um, um, I have made a honey bun cake and I used it as a glaze. It can be used as a glaze on the, I made a peach cobbler pound cake. It can be used as a glaze for a peach cobbler pound cake or a glaze for a honey bun cake or just a glaze for an old fashioned donut. All of those are on my channel as well at The Vegan Katie's Kitchen. Um, I also have a large bag of, uh, this was pure cane sugar. This is all natural. And this is a six pound bag. And this is for, if I choose to do some baking, I'll have it. It's bone char free. Okay. So before you guys get on here telling me, well, you're not supposed to eat cook that has bone char in it. It says bone char free. So we're good. Okay, no worries. I got it. I got it. Okay. And then I have bananas to go in the smoothie. I have my bananas. And I have my favorite. I think you guys seen this before. This is hummus. I absolutely love hummus. It has cilantro, jalapeno, um, classic, roasted red bell pepper, no, roasted red pepper, and roasted garlic. There's uh, four assortments of uh, hummus in here. Maybe I should turn it this way so you guys can see. Oh, you can't see it that way either. There you go on the side. See? There's uh, different ones in here. Okay, let me have it so you guys can see. This stuff is absolutely delicious. These are good to put on veggie wraps. I also like making a veggie wrap too. This is why I buy this is why we usually get the um four assortments of uh um, the hummus because again you can make put them on veggie wraps you can make a wrap out of it you can just use it as chips and dips if you choose to but there's like so many things you can do with this it's, it's, it's so many things you can yeah <laughs> it's a lot you can do with those um so these are all the items that i got from aldi's and i'll be back with the items that i got from amazon fresh see you soon so now, these are products from Amazon Fresh. Okay, first up, I have um, plant-based chicken strips. And this is by Sweet Earth. I have two packs. Okay, let me give you guys a close-up. Okay. And with these, oh my god, you can make a chicken fajita, you can do a chicken stir fry, um, get them to your vegetable fried rice, uh, chicken burritos, uh, chicken tacos. Uh, it, it has a lot of uses. Okay. So, I can do that. I have a day of cheese. And to me, this is like the best vegan cheese that I like. I like Daya. 
This is cheddar cheese. So again, we use it in our spaghetti, tacos, uh, you know, anything that cheese go on. Cheese quesadilla. There you have it. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Um, these are by Dion. This is a, a ground beef crumble. A vegan beef, okay. This is a ground vegan crumble. They call it a Beyond Beef crumble. Okay. Okay, and I have two packs of those. Again, you can add these to spaghetti, um, tacos, tamales, whatever you choose to use it in. Chili. And I have these are by Boca. This is a veggie burger by Boca. And that's to make a veggie burger. And you can top it with some cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, some avocados. And you can get down. That's what I do. These are by, uh, this is a chicken veggie patty by Boca. And same thing, a chicken sandwich, lettuce and tomatoes. You can top it to whatever you like. Um, I didn't bring the onions and all that stuff because you guys don't need to see all that. <laughs> onions and bell pepper. So, yeah. And with the chicken, you can also do a chicken fajita as well. When I start talking about bell pepper and onion, chicken fajita. Okay. That can be made also. Um... Let's see. This right here is Mass Favorite. This is a um, call. It's called Del Rio Foods. It's um. This is a, a rice, and it's a. This is a vegetable rice, and it's a. It's already seasoned. Okay, and let me tell you guys what the Mass Vegan does. He made uh, one time we. This is the one time we bought this, and he made a roast compoyo using this. Oh my God, it was so good. <sighs> Jeez, it was good. Memories, memories. <laughs> it really was. It was really good. So he made a roast compoyo. You can do a vegetable fried rice. You can throw this on a burrito with some chicken or some beef or what have you. It has a lot of uses as well. Um. Just egg. I know you guys have seen this before. This is my favorite uh, egg uh, replacer. This stuff you can uh, you can scramble it, and um, of course for breakfast you can scramble it, or you could uh, I don't say sunny side up, but <laughs> you can take it and you can put it on uh, a, a veggie, uh, not a veggie, a breakfast sandwich. You can have use it for that. You can bake with the stuff. I like to bake with it. Because it holds up. It binds really well using the Just Egg. So this is a really good replacement. You guys can use a replacement. Um, what I have by Best Foods. This is a vegan dressing. This is a vegan mayonnaise. Okay. Yeah, Best Foods. I like this one as well. I'm going to make a, a vegan tuna using this. Um, again, if you want to know how the tuna is made, go to my channel. And I have a vegan tuna there for you. Or either it's just a spread for a sandwich. Nothing special. Potato salad. Macaroni salad. Everything has multiple uses. Um, here I have a coconut cream. It's by Thai Kitchen. This is my favorite also. And let me tell you what I do with this. Um, I throw it in the refrigerator. And I wait for it to solidify. Oh, it's already solid. But they tell you to put it in the refrigerator um, so, the, so that the um, cream can separate from the water that's in it. And with this stuff, like once the cream sets, you could uh, blend it, add a little bit of vanilla sugar. Uh, you could use it, because I made vegan Twinkies before also. Uh, you can use this to go in the center of your Twinkie. To put in the center of your Twinkie, uh, you can use it like a banana cream pie or just for bacon. Whatever recipe the recipe calls for, a a, uh, a cream. 
a heavy cream this will be good as well this you can use it for any and everything it goes into uh, potato sweet potato pie uh, what have you just yeah but I'm going to use it because I'm thinking about making another uh, another bean pie so I'm going to use it in my bean pie again I made that go over to my channel I made a, uh, a vegan um, bean pie so you can use this as well but I made a banana cream pie before too I'm not sure if I recorded it before or not but yeah I make a lot of things off camera that a lot of stuff I don't record um let's see what do I have here I have spaghetti what's that Regano spaghetti okay this is a it's a lot in here this is a 32 ounce yeah, this is 32 ounces of spaghetti uh oh did I drop that nope I have a lot of stuff up here okay um, I like to use it with Hans pasta sauce this is a garlic and herb so I have two cans of that I like to add some extra garlic I love garlic I add a lot of garlic to it um, I use the beef crumble to go in there bell pepper and some onions um, you can get a vegan sausage to cut up to put in there you can use meatballs you know it's it, a lot you can do with uh, spaghetti so yeah okay that's the tomato sauce I showed you guys um, this is this is the great northern bean I spoke about uh, making a bean pie earlier and so this is what I'm going to use I have two cans of northern beans these are already made I showed you guys in the previous um, haul that I had a bag of them you can use a bag you can bake them yourself or you can use a can I'm going to use the bag for something else I'm going to use the cans for a pie um, I use I normally will use a Marie Callender pie it's by Marie Callender there's two in a pack this is the front across to the pie of course um, what else I showed you guys showed you all that okay here I have raisins um, this is a 12 ounce container I don't know if this is a can or okay but it's 12 ounces of raisins and normally what we do with these we put them in our granola bar we usually make a granola bar and we use these for the granola bar also it can be used for a carrot cake which you never know if I feel like making a carrot cake I will make a carrot cake but that's what those are for um, I have a peanut butter cookie granola bar by Laura, Laura Bar I hope I'm pronouncing it right but there you are Am I holding it the right way? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. And I'm going to taste those for you later, you guys. Okay. I'll taste those. Let me finish getting to all this stuff. And this is heavy. Okay. This is a almond. This is almond milk. Uh, unsweetened almond milk. That's what I have. This is for baking and um, just to drink. Uh, we're going to add those to smooth. We're going to add this to smoothies. Um, you guys saw the the um, frozen fruit that we bought. We use this for smoothies or cereal or baking or what have you. That's why we have such a large thing. We do a lot with milk around here. We do. Okay. This is a. Uh, by sim this is called Simply Lemonade. It's a uh, lemonade and raspberry. Oh, this thing is heavy. Hope you guys can see it. Okay. And, okay.
Okay, this is a California Ginger Lime Limeade by Khalifa Form. Okay, so I'll be right back to do. A, I'm going to do a review on. I'm going to do a review on on the drinks, the lemonade and the ginger limeade, and the granola bar. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, now for the review. First up are the peanut butter cookie uh, granola bars, the ones I showed you earlier. Um, by the way, there are six bars in the box. Okay. Ooh, it's hot. This is what it looks like. It's how small it is. Ooh, I was able to tear with my gloves on. Hey. Let me take it out of the pack for you. So you can see it. That's what it looks like. Mm. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's see what else is in here. I can't find any real nowhere. Okay. This is kind of like a raw um, granola bar. That's how it looks on the inside. Okay, and it's uh, the ingredients are it's simple. Dates, peanuts, and sea salt. That's it. That's good. I like it. Mmm. Okay, I'll bring this out later. Mmm. That's pretty good. I like it. Okay, I don't need to taste the almond milk because we know what almond milk tastes like, right? Okay. And first, I'm going to test out the uh, raspberry lemonade. Okay, let's see if I can get this paper off. Okay, hey. Not bad. Okay, let's test that out. I should have had this before the granola bar. Okay, let me try it again. Let me get some water in my mouth and then try that again. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's pretty good. I like it. And this is a 52, 52 um, ounce. Yes, yeah, 52 ounces. Sorry about that. You guys, don't look at that hole in my glove. I honestly didn't know it was there until I turned the cameras on. So let me hold it. Mm. Okay, let me take a little bit of water and then test out the um but that's that's pretty good, the raspberry lemonade. That's really good. Mm. It's um it's not a heavy raspberry taste to it. It's very light, but it's 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 good. It's a good um it's good and refreshing. I like it. A nice refreshing drink. Okay, next up is the uh, Ginger Limeade by Califia Form. Is it Califia or Califa? Maybe it's Califa Form. I'm always mispronouncing something. Okay, I'm going to get ghetto in a minute and um, use my teeth. This don't come on. Oh, there we go. So you guys don't have to see that. 
Oh, you know what? Let me shake this up. I have to. That's what I should have did with the um, the raspberry um, lemonade. It's probably why it was a light raspberry taste. I didn't shake it. Okay, that's it. Ooh, I like that ginger. That's pretty good. I absolutely, I love ginger. I drink, excuse me, I even drink ginger tea. I love ginger. That's, um, that's an interesting combination, but it's, it's, it's good. It works. It does. It's so weird, but it does work together. It has to be, um, I like everything like frozen and slushy like. I think this will be good if it's done that way. Okay. I like it. It's really light and refreshing. Like I really like that. It's very light. Okay, I'm going to try this again. I didn't shake it up. I didn't better taste it now huh? because I've already had all this other stuff. Let me try it again. Mm. Okay, let me try that again. Oh yeah, that's better. It was good before, but yeah, it's more it's a little bit more intense now and I like that. And it's still light and refreshing. It's not as light as this one. But it's still a, a refreshing drink. I like them both. Okay. So that's a definite yes on the both of those. Um, what do I have here? I have... Okay, I think I've already did a haul on the straws before and the hummus. Just couldn't resist. I'm gonna have to have a. I'm gonna have to test them out. Here, I love these though. I've had them before. I think I've done a haul on them. And if you didn't see it, here's the replay. <laughs> okay. I hope I don't drop this. I'd be so upset if I did. Okay. So there it is. And let me read it off to you. We have a. Uh, Okay, so here is the um, cilantro jalapeno. That's that one. Um, cilantro jalapeno. This is the classic right here. This is the roasted red pepper. And then this one is the garlic hummus. This is the roasted garlic. Mm. Let me give you a close up. There we go. Ooh, that garlic is hidden. It's so good. Okay. Again, these are the veggie straws. You see them? I'm using my wrong hand. That's the okay, so. I'm going to test out the cilantro jalapeno. Mm -mm -mm. And I'll tell you guys, you really need to give us a trial. That is like one of my favorites. I think that uh, jalapeno cilantro, that is so good. Let me have another. Mm. Mm. Wow, so good. Um, this is the garlic. I think it's the classic. Yeah, this is the classic one. Mmm. And it's also fresh. Really good. This one is a roasted red pepper. It's so good because you can taste that red bell pepper in there. And it's the same with the uh, the cilantro jalapeno. You can taste them both. 
You get that heat from the jalapeno and then you can taste the cilantro taste plus what hummus tastes like. So it's really good. You can taste the zestiness from the lemon. Okay, and then here's the garlic. Mm, I love garlic. That is so good. You taste the garlic in there as well. So like I said, this is really good. The assorted um, thing of uh, garlic. This is like a good, um, a good must-have because again, it, it serves uh, multi multiple uses. Again, wraps, a dip. You can put it on any and everything. Any and everything it'll go on. Sometimes I use it as a dip, like if I have nuggets or something and I want a little bit of hummus, I'll use it for that as well. So yeah, it goes on any and everything. Be creative. Right? Just be creative. There's no rules to it. There's no rules. Make up your own. <laughs> okay, guys, this concludes my haul and review. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Over here, I'm sending you all positive vibes. And until the next time, kitties. See you.